Hey, welcome everyone to Extreme Gaming Fever, and today I'm back with another episode of The Valley, the Old Farm map, and uh, with Seasons Mode. And uh, today we are going to make some hay bales. And you can see we, uh, I have a massive Ferguson tractor with two movers attached to it, and uh, we are now ready to go. And uh, all right, so uh, all right, so <laughs> while well, using uh, two tools at the same time, always not. Uh, uh, so <laughs> so easy I mean it's a little bit complicated so you need to okay so I think now it's ready so let's go and uh, here we go uh, wow by the way the grass the texture of the grass is uh, absolutely nice and uh, but I honestly speaking I don't like the texture of the grass in, of uh, this new map and uh, I would like to change this texture uh, whenever uh, <laughs> Uh, whenever I have a free time uh, to do that <coughs> you can uh, did you know that you can actually change the texture of different things by uh, opening up your different modes folder then uh, you can copy uh, the texture files of one mood or one map and then you can paste that files to another <laughs> map and uh, in this way you can uh, uh, take a texture which is which you like the most and uh, you can copy that texture to the to, to your new map which you are currently playing and uh, in this way you can have your favorite texture in that map and in this way you can uh, customize your map that you are playing and I think everybody is already familiar with this uh, so if you're not then I think uh, it will help you later alright so um, this is nice and uh, uh, the map is absolutely amazing and I'm really enjoying playing uh, this uh, map and uh, this map is absolutely incredible like old stream farm and uh, what I'm thinking is to speed this video up for a little bit Alright, so we just moved some grass uh, as uh, we needed uh, and uh, now for this moment uh, I'm going to park these, uh, uh, or you may say um, park these, uh oh not this one, but uh, I'm going to park these movers here and I will move these later. Uh, I know this is not a perfect place to um, park your machinery or to keep your machinery but uh, I, uh oh. But I could <laughs> move them later. So meanwhile, uh, we have uh, this tether here, which is uh, the uh, same old by default tether. I'm not using any mood here. And uh, let's uh, try to try this grass, and uh, it would be really, really fun, real fun. And uh, after, I think after the update of the seasons mode, the game is uh, now changed a little bit. Now. Uh, uh, something <laughs> a lot of things has been changed in seasons mode and uh, well this is my own observation maybe uh, it depends upon maps uh, either it's uh, either it's it depends upon map then uh, I don't know why uh, in Estancia uh, uh the, the trees are not growing and honestly speaking I try to plant some trees spruce trees there uh, after downloading the new mode but uh, they they did not even grow so after passing a whole season the spruce the spruce trees were not uh, grown up and uh, that's why i just uh, moreover uh, in autumn i could not uh, i was not unable to harvest the i was not able to harvest the corn in estancia lapacho and uh, i really don't know why Alright, so uh, after <laughs> parking that header, we have uh, this uh, wind drawer, and I'm using this cone wind drawer because uh, I have the cone uh, pack, and uh, uh, I found uh, this is a really useful 
uh, wind draw and more of this is a uh, very stylish and futuristic or you may say sci-fi <laughs> sci-fi uh, no that's that's over <laughs> But yeah, it's a little bit futuristic and it has a really nice design. So that's why I usually use this wind drawer to collect or to make a nice rows of grass. So uh, we can start here. Can we? All right. So maybe let's see if we can uh, customize some configurations here. And but I don't think we can. Uh oh. So, well, I don't think that we can customize some configuration, but this is really strange. So, let's go with this one. And here we go. I wish if I could uh, change the traction, it changed its traction uh, where, it the, where it is making rolls, but uh, I could not find any way. Or, by the way, uh, Let's do this a little bit quickly because uh, it's kind of boring thing and uh, not so interesting so I'm going to fast forward this video once again. So after um, <laughs> aligning the hay into a nice and clean rows, uh, we are finally ready to make some bales here. And uh, let's uh, go and uh, bring our uh, baling uh, baler here. So for uh, this time, uh, I'm oh this path is so bouncy. Uh, all right, so to making bales, I'm uh, going to use this uh, crown baler, which is. Uh, uh, I think the crown from crown big series and uh, the special thing about this baler is that you can immediately wrap you around it it produces uh, round types of bales and uh, the best thing of this baler is uh, you can immediately wrap your bale bales uh, without using a bale wrapper because that's so annoying and terrible that uh, you have to pick uh, <laughs> Uh, each bale and you have to wrap each bale and that's that's a really a uh, time consuming process so this is a really nice shortcut that you can wrap the bale as well on the same on the same time all right so let's uh, move this baler to the field where we were we had made a nice uh, nice and neat and clean rows of uh, hay and uh, I wish if I could uh, customize the configuration of this baler and uh, of course I'm not going to wrap these bales here because I'm not going to make some silage bales I'm just simply uh, turning this feature off so pressing J will turn off uh, the wrapping process of bales and here we go it's, uh, it's actually pretty fast you can see uh, it's, uh, we can work on 20 kilometers per hour which is uh, impressively fast wow now that's a machine and here comes the first bale very nice textured uh, with a green bell type something and uh, all right so let's do this quickly
guys, we just made uh, some bales there, and uh, it's time to move this uh, baler back to the farm. And uh, I have already, I already have a round bale collector, uh, automatic round bale collector. And here you can see that it's an Ursus uh, uh, round bale collector. So I'm going to use this uh, because uh, it's fully automated, and uh, we don't need to pick each bale and then move this bale and that's uh, you know that's a time consuming process so uh, it's uh, already late summer and uh, the next season is of course the autumn and uh, we have a lot of things to do in autumn so I'm not going to mm, waste some time here for making hay bales so uh, because I'm I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to make these uh, I'm just making these bales for cows only so uh, you know that's a uh, whatever you say all right so let's uh, turn this on turn this thing on so you can see these bales are around so <laughs> these always travel from here to there whenever you move somehow and wow so we can exactly collect eight bales here and uh, I think we have uh, more than eight, but don't worry, I will pick them later when uh, <coughs> when I when I will make some more bills in autumn. So for this time, I'm uh, only I'm going to collect eight bills exactly. And uh, all right, so as I said, uh, we have ten bills, so I'm going to collect eight these eight bills, and uh, I will collect those two bills later. So first let's uh, move these bales uh, to the farm and uh, yeah store them on a good place where from where we can uh, pick them up really easily with ease. Alright and uh, this farm is absolutely amazing. It's a little bit old type of farm and I like this. I like it. Oh I just forget to <laughs> fold this uh, bale collector. That was so dangerous. Alright, so I have to choose a place, a perfect place for storing these bales. I think uh, I can store this here because uh, later on we will uh, 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 store the straw bales here inside this building on terrace drive or whatever it is. Uh, but for this moment, let's uh, store these hay bales here. I'm going to park. Oh, no, no, why I'm using this word park again and again? <laughs> All right. So for this moment, I am just uh, simply uh, placing these bales here because uh, we can later, as this is a cow farm, so we can uh, pick them from here easily afterward. And uh, now I wish these won't fall off. Please don't fall okay so finally thank god these are not far all right so guys that was the gameplay of today i'm sure that you will like this gameplay and if you want to see the more gameplays of the valley Day old farm then please hit that subscribe button for more gameplays of the valley the old farm with seasons more so bye from me and i'll see you in the next one bye